Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, honor due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Wakakadash. Dove honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. A new respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word inwardly calls God. It's, you know, he's the beginning and the ending of all things, you know. is you know, as the scripture says, we know that Yahweh shall refer, refer, refer to himself as the Alpha and Omega. But, you know, saying we know that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is the beginning of all things. Bahashem is in the name of Yahweh Shah, is the only begotten Son of the Father. Who the world in it called Jesus Christ that sits on the right hand of the Father, who died for the sins of Israel, but particularly the elect. And he, you know, and he's the one that's going to establish the throne of David when when he comes back here on the earth to take down these heathen rulerships. You know, it's particularly this rulership of Esau in the so called white man. And he's going to be exalted with glory and honor forever and ever. Ba'ashem is in the name of the Rukakadash. It's the Holy Spirit that is given upon the men, women, and children of the house of Israel, but, but particularly the elect of the house of Israel in these last days. You know, waking up the elect and causing them to repent. And turn back to the Lord, you know, they power you how about Shimmy Al Shah, you know, and double honors to the apostles and else a great millstone. Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Uh, coming back at you a quick lesson through the power spirit, you how about Shimmy Al Shah. And uh, we're um, going through this article off RT News. And the title of this article is Black Clad Anti-Lockdown Demonstrators March Through Copenhagen After Activists Received Two-Year Jail uh, jail Term. And, you, know, it, you know, here's the article right here. You know, you probably can't see it. If your brothers want to do a video on it, you know, feel free to do so. This is the article right here. Um... And um, and I just quickly skim through the article, and, and you know what I'm saying you people are gonna have enough of following the woman, you know what I'm saying, and and that shows you that we are living in the um, you know in the society that the woman worship is very heavy, you know what I'm saying, and all this demonstrates. Uh, this demonstrate is you know as I read the article, it was over a woman that that uh basically you know was you know uh led, led uh uh what you call it you know inciting violence, you know she was found guilty of that, and you got these people out here marching, and and you know protesting over this woman. That there were, you know, she she was found guilty and she led in violence, you know, inciting violence, you know what I'm saying? And if this woman would would have, um, you know, stayed at home and would have did what a woman's supposed to do, she would not be in the position to begin with. But, you know, we're living in a society that they push this uh, queen of heaven worship, you know, that the woman is equal to the man. And if the woman has it just as many rights as the man. But you know what I'm saying? If you understand the scriptures, who who did the serpent go to in the garden? You know what I'm saying? He went he went to Eve in the garden. He he didn't go to Adam with that nonsense. Because if he would try to go uh to Adam with that nonsense, he would, it's, the serpent would have got shut down real quick. But he went to the woman. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the downfall is not only because of the serpent, but it's because, it, you know, the serpent went to the woman. You know, he went and he beguiled Eve, you know, and gave her all these different philosophies. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why the world is in the position or, or the predicament that it is now. And and don't come, you know, on this page talking about you being a woman bashing all that. No, we just, you know, we call things is what it is according to the scriptures, man. And you know what I'm saying? And not just particularly on here, Babylon and Great, but this quote unquote woman worship goes throughout, you know, goes in, in throughout the world, man. Look, you know, at this protest, these people are, are uh, you know what I'm saying? They are uh, doing the protest because a woman was found guilty in uh, insane way violence. About, you know what I'm saying? And you got these people uh, marching up and down the street and all these things, man. But, you know, let's get to the article. You know what I'm saying? It reads, an anti-lockdown group staged a protest in Denmark, capital, to express a solitary with the activists who was sentenced to two years behind bars for allegedly inciting violence in an early demonstration. 700 members of the men in black, it's like a men in black, anti-lockdown group took to the streets in Copenhagen on Saturday night, lighting rare flares and shouting slogans as they moved through the streets. Some dem demonstrators played bad pipes and pounding on drums, while others carried a large banner reading Black Cloud Resistance. Footage of footage published by RTVO agency roughly shows the demonstrators, many of them dressed in black, launching fireworks into the air as police escorted the crowd. There was no reports of violence and no arrests made according to local media. The the demonstration followed the sentence of a woman who was found guilty of inciting violence during an anti lockdown protest in January. Speakers who addressed the crowd during Saturday's uh, march expressed solitary with the woman who received two years behind bar bars due to a controversial provision that allows Danish courts to double sentence if the crime is related to the CV-19 pandemic. One demonstrator who spoke during Saturday event said that the friend said that friend the activists had become the group for priority local media reported. Denmark began easing CV-19 restrictions in March, allowing shops, shops and some schools to reopen. However, businesses will be required to operate at a reduced capacity and teachers and students over the age of 12 return to school will be tested for, for the C-virus twice, twice a week. And, and basically, these people are in an uproar because of this uh, you know, because this woman being arrested, man. You know, because she is sending the same way violence. And, and, you, and you, you know what I'm saying? You people gonna have to understand, man, that that the woman place is supposed to be at the home raising up the kids. You know what I'm saying? Raising up the children is like a kid. Kids is a baby goat. But you know what I'm saying? Raising up the children, you know, uh, making sure, that, you know, their husband's straight. Making sure that their home is straight. Making sure that the children is straight. But these women don't do that, man. They they out here want to, they want to be on the front line. They want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? They 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 you know what I'm saying? They want to, uh, you know what I'm saying? They they want to uh, have equal rights. They want to be above the man. You know what I'm saying? They 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 want the man to be in their position, and they want to be in the men position. But y'all about shit, man. Y'all, you know, he he didn't make it so, man. You know what I'm saying? You got these people marching for this one man. And this one probably got what she deserved, man. Because you going around here and you you basically you inciting violence and all this stuff, you're gonna get thrown in jail, man. You you're gonna get thrown in jail because you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. You know, even though it's in Denmark, but you know what I'm saying, these these people uh you know, these people marching for this one talking about she need you know, basically trying to march for freedom and all this stuff. And, you know what I'm saying? She got a two-year prison term for, you know, um, you know, basically trying to incite or start a, a, a riot or violence or whatever not. But like I said before, man, if she would have been at home, she would have took care of her uh, family like she's supposed to. She wouldn't have got put, put in a position that, that she in, you know, being in jail for, behind bars for pretty much two years. 
you know, that's a go that's a lesson for our people, man, especially for you particular women out there of our nation, man. You know what I'm saying? Your your job is not at in the front lines. Your job is to, you know, support your husband. Your job is to make sure to make sure that you had the kids in order, make sure that the home is in order. You know what I'm saying? Being uh, obedience to your husband. But these women in this and now in this society, but you know, pretty much around the world not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all of them, but majority of them are not going to listen to their husband. They're not going to obey obey the scriptures in any form or fashion because they want to do what they want to do. And look what it's leading down to, man. You got got the woman getting arrested. Man, you're going to have worse things going to come come upon these women, man, because of the fact that, man, they, they, that they're not going to obey the men of the Lord. They're not going to receive instruction. Because in their mind, they, they want to be equal above the man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to ramble on for too much longer, man. Because the scripture tells a woman that, that you know what I'm saying, that um, particularly, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're, you're supposed to be under your husband. It basically said that, yeah, the scripture said that the woman should, uh, should submit themselves to their husband. The wife should submit themselves to the husband. But, you know. A lot of women not going to do that, you know what I'm saying, because they want to be out of order. They want to be rebellious, and then they want to they want to be above the man, you know. And with that, you know, I want to give all praise, glory, I'm doing to you. How about Shimmy Aosha, by Shimmy Rokakadash, double honors to the apostle else, a great millstone. Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh willing. Shalom, Ababa Ball, and Kwame Yasharala. Shalom.